Hey everybody, it's Christina from Christina's Crafts and I'm going to show you how to make this cute homemade Dollar Tree windmill decor. Okay, so I got three of these from Dollar Tree and I'm going to use these to make my fence. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull all of these off of here. All right, I have them all pulled off, and um, I'm actually gonna get, forgot that sticker, but I'm gonna cover this in. This is actually gonna be the back of my project, and this is gonna be the front, and I'm gonna probably have to put a couple coats of paint on here, and I'm gonna use Waverly um, White Chalk Paint. All right, I have them all ready, and I am gonna just fill in this in the back. I'm going to have stuff glued back here anyway, so you're not necessarily going to see it, but I think it'll just look better if I just fill those in. So I'm going to fill that in, and then I am going to paint the front of these, and it's probably going to use a couple coats so that I can completely cover this up so you don't see it. I probably could have tried to sand it off, but sometimes you wreck the board when you do that. Okay, I have two coats on my signs already, but you can still kind of see it. Um, I am going to distress these just because of the fact that you can still kind of see that on there. So I'm going to, I got two coats, so I'm going to get another coat on there and then I'm going to start putting my sign together. Okay, I have all three of my signs painted. Um, the best, the back doesn't look the best, but it's gonna get hung on a wall anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. So I am going to use, I have these Jenga blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use these as spacers so I can space my fence panels apart. And then I have a ruler, cut that, make it a blockbuster night. And I actually used to work there and I'm gonna use that to kind of push up and make this even here. Push those together. And then I'm gonna use these pieces, which were the legs to the, si to the other sign, to put this together. All right. So I'm gonna put it right about there. Put a little hot glue on each side. Oh, you know what? I already put it on the wrong side. Let's set that one aside. I got one extra. <clears throat> I want it this way. And then just put it on there. And then I'm going to measure up two inches on that side. And I'm going to put the good side out. And there. Okay, then I am going to measure from here to here, and I'm gonna put my next ones in. So I'm just gonna keep measuring up, and I'm gonna get these other four in here. All right, my sign is all glued together, and this is what it looks like from the front. All right, so I got that on there. Now, just because you can kind of see this, and just because I think fences, I mean, I think they need to look a little bit weathered. So I'm gonna use the Waverly chalk paint and elephant and I am going to distress this a little bit Now you don't use a lot of paint for distressing. I know I've done this quite a few times in my videos, so Just Put a little bit on there Okay, it's all distressed and then I have this windmill this welcome windmill that I got from Dollar Tree I'm gonna set this aside for right now and I'm gonna need to get this chain off of here. Oh, I almost had it off of there. Oh, there we go. Okay, got the chain off. Now, when I put this on the sign, it's gonna be kinda of hard to see the welcome. So I actually have this ribbon that I got. Um, got it from Costco. And I decided that I'm gonna put the silver side underneath here so that you can see the welcome a little bit better. So I am just going to Cut a strip here of my ribbon and flip this over and I am going to hot glue this onto my sign. There, and then I think you'll be able to see that welcome a little bit better. 
And that's kind of shiny too, which looks kind of cool. All right, then I am going to get my windmill put on my sign. But what I want to do is I want to kind of pop this up off the board a little bit, I think. So I have these little blocks that I got from Dollar Tree. And I probably should paint them, but I am just going to hot glue those underneath there so it sticks up a little bit. Um, I don't think I need to put the windmill up. Uh, it might look better. Actually, it might look kind of nice popped up. But... Then I'd have to paint that block for sure. All right, I am going to go, I'm gonna go ahead and paint these blocks. Um, I think I might just do elephant gray since I already have my brush. All right, I have a coat of the elephant paint or elephant chalk paint on there. Now I'm going to attach my blocks to my sign here. All right, so my memory card um, ran out while I was putting the last one on, but I got the last Jenga block on here. Now I am going to attach it to my fence. So I am going to attach it like so. Actually, you know, I think I'm just going to have to put it on there and hopefully I get it straight when I put it on. Now I'm going to have to um, hot glue this down because that is just not staying good. So I'm just going to get a little hot glue on here. I just don't like the way that it's it bounces around. I want it steady. I'm thinking if I just put the little hot glue in there and maybe a little bit in this corner Hopefully it'll just stay good. All right, so my windmill is on there. And then what I'm gonna do is I got this little ball, which I have used this for a different project. And it has this little greenery on here and it just kind of come pops right off of there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these and I'm going to glue them to my bottom of my board here. But I am just going to hot glue these down right at the bottom here. And I'm probably going to have to hold them for quite a while because they're shaped kind of funny so that they stay. I am just going to start putting these on and squishing them together. And I'm going to do two over in this corner and then I'm going to do two in the other corner and I'm just going to kind of work my way across. I do want it to go across the whole bottom. I'm just not sure I'm going to have enough yet. Okay, so I have about five on each side down there. So I am probably going to, I think I'm going to try to squeeze like maybe six in here just so that I can kind of fill up, you know, where the cracks are right there. I'm going to put it kind of more towards the end on this side, but it's looking like I should have plenty enough to go around. All right, I have all my greenery on there on the bottom. Then the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and I am gonna kind of shove them down in here in the corner, if you can see that. So I'm just gonna put a little hot glue on here And then I'm going to try to stick it down. I don't want it to cover up my welcome over here. And then I also have these, which I have from a different leftover from a different project. These are also from Dollar Tree. And I am just going to kind of stick these up on the sides over here. So I'm just going to stick some hot glue on there. And stick it like that. Right, and then I'm going to put the other one on the other side. All 
All right, I have all my flowers on there. It's all decorated on the bottom. Okay, so I decided that I did not like the way that it looked while it was hanging. And I have this easel that I got. I'm pretty sure this is from Dollar Tree. And I set my sign on here. And I think that looks a lot better. But I really don't like the feet hanging out on the bottom. So I'm gonna try something. And I might be crazy. But I am actually gonna try to hot glue um, this stand onto my project. So we'll see how this goes. I'm actually just gonna make it so that it stays on the stand. Okay, then to cover up the feet, I had a couple extra of these and I am going to I, what I did was I snipped, snipped some of the leaves off of there and I am going to try to just put a little couple pieces in here, hot glue, just to at least try to cover up the humps here. So I'm just going to put a little on here and then just kind of try to stick it in here. I'm just trying to cover it up a little bit. I mean, I know it's not going to be completely covered. thinking right on to there. Oh, that looks so much nicer. And then I'm going to put some on the other side. Yeah, this is definitely more of a standing piece. I really did not like it hanging. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and cover this one up and then I should be finished. All right, and that is it. My sign is all finished. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe and take care. Thanks for watching, bye.